Hey guys, so I got suspended from Twitter for some controversial tweets that I posted where I basically claimed that biology exists and men are men and women are women. Uh, I know now that biology does not exist and that science is a myth, a superstition. This idea that men have penises is um, a vicious rumor. Reality, what is reality? Reality is a transphobic conspiracy. And I see that now, you know, I just saw somebody walk by a second ago and this individual is sort of this, this big burly individual with a beard and a bald head. And in my past life, I would have looked at that person and said, oh, well, that's a man, pretty simple. But now I realize that, uh, that, that how close-minded that is. I mean, that, that could have been a man. Maybe that individual woke up a man this morning, but will be a woman tonight. Matt Walsh, I'm sorry, but I have to destroy you. Using conservative logic, you weird looking because first, what's going on here visually? You look like you're in witness protection. Why are you worried about Twitter bans? You really should be worried about the mafia finding out about you because you testified against them in a RICO case. Because that's the only explanation for you getting relocated to Nashville and given a basic ass name like Matt Walsh on the nose, Gino Toretta, which is obviously your real name. That is, a, it's not a real beard. Everybody call it out. When you see Matt Walsh online, you gotta say narc, narc, narc. This guy narked on the mob, which is good. You did justice, but honestly own it. But for your family's sake, keep quiet. They will find you, they're everywhere. Honestly, how many layers are you wearing, by the way? Sick vest, man. What kind of a gets cold? Also, you know your car has a heater. Turn it on, take the vest off. I never understood the vest. It's like, you know, I'm cold, but just here. Like this part gets cold. But you're like, no, screw it. I'm gonna stay warm in the part of me that stays warm. You're a f idiot. Anyways, now the meat of your argument. I just got suspended on Twitter because I pointed out that biological males are men. Chicho here got suspended from Twitter for tweeting, I guess, the greatest female Jeopardy champion of all time is a man. I'm not referring to an individual person as if she's two people, as well as a bunch of other crap. Honestly, I don't think Matt should have been banned from Twitter because he's not funny, but he's a joke. Does that make sense? But by conservative logic, they should be allowed to ban you. Conservatives when a bakery won't make a gay wedding cake. Look, it's a private company, dude. Okay, they have rights, they can deny service to anyone that they want to, just go to a different bakery, free market, dude. Conservatives when Twitter bans them. Oh my god, I'm being oppressed! Free speech! Constitutional amendments! I mean, if a baker can refuse a cake to gays, I feel like Twitter can refuse you your sh tweets for like 12 hours, you fragile wench. I love how stupid he's pretending to be, saying he was banned for saying that biology exists. You weren't. Trans people know that biology exists. They just understand that biology, sex, and gender are intertwined, but different concepts. That's why they're different words. You linguistically challenge dip People who have wieners, have wieners. No trans person will deny that. People who have vaginas have vaginas. Sure, that's biology. But what most decent human beings understand to be gender identity is a holistic concept you take to be binary, men and women. But at the same time, you agree that there are male concepts and attributes as well as female concepts and attributes. Attributes of maleness and femaleness outside of penises and vaginas. For example, you wear plaid and have a fake beard. These are male concepts in your mind. Theoretically, you have a penis also, but no one believes that. But at the same time, Matt, you're a huge twat. You're crying right now like a little girl. These are not my concepts, by the way. This is what I'd assume you say to a person who's acting like you, which you would consider to be a throbbing, weepy, vagina of a man. Again, these are just putting it in terms you'd understand. So you understand that dicks can be pussies. You go crying to Tucker Carlson. Mm, they cut me off of Twitter. You're acting like a pussy. What you, your words, your words. And this is the center of the argument. You understand it, but you pretend you don't. You oversimplify something very complicated and bring it back to wildly simplistic words like man and woman because you need it to be simple and not because that's what you want or what you need or most importantly how the world is because it's what your fans want not only because they are simple and stupid but because they are beta cucks who want a little bitch ass fake beard wearing schmucko pants 
like you as their fearless leader. In a green vest, in his Ford Escape, they feel threatened by anyone secure enough in their gender identity to use the right words to describe it. And that's really the final nail in your coffin. You go apoplectic when people use extra words or more specific definitions to describe something complicated, taking care to make sure we describe things as accurately as possible, no matter how many words like cisgender, non-binary, or gender fluid it takes. And I love that this rejection is coming mostly from Christians. Christians who lose it if you call them Catholics. No, I'm not Catholic. I'm Southern Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Presbyterian. And if you think that's the same thing as First Baptist, Methodist, then you got another thing coming, buddy. I'm gonna cancel your ass. We believe in consubstantiation and not transubstantiation. Get you lose your mind, and it's so delicious. So get over it, you sad narc who obviously dipped his chin in Rogaine. Now you look like a Chia Pet f Chewbacca. Every time you go on TV, you look like you got a blowout for your beard. Treat him nice, he's a star. But, but honestly, have a great night. And if you don't like the standards they hold you to on Twitter, go run to the supple bosom of Donald Trump's new social media platform, which, by the way, forbids you from making fun of it, or it'll kick you off. Not kidding. Can't make that up. Have a nice day with your double standards. Twice as many standards to hang out with.